Alright guys, so here we are. So, <clears throat> you've seen my other videos, on, or my last few videos on my uh, new Rockwell Shaper. And I've had some feeding issues with my reverse um, uh, bed feed. So, I've take, I took this guy out, and you, and you watched me do it on my last video. So this is the little prawl, and this is the little guy that um, controls your uh, left and right feed on your table, or you can pull it up, and then you can manually feed it. What I have found out is that I believe this guy is meant to be ground on in case uh, of wear. That's what this little screw is for. Uh, I showed you that last video that holds uh, the spring in place and then uh, you can adjust that and then of course your little reversing knob there. Being that this guy is too short um, you know and, and I have no idea where I would find a new one of these I'm gonna have to make it. So I'm gonna spin it out on a lathe. Uh, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes to spin out this. Just I gotta make sure I get the right dimension and then I'll uh, punch a hole in there and we'll we'll fit uh, I'll probably grind that end on there I'm not sure I might mill it but we'll see uh, I gotta make sure my call is correct and then that little hole off to measure that and try and get the right size bit uh, the main dimension I need here is make sure my little screw fits on there but let's go over and start working on this guy I'm, I'm hoping I can do this in one video but maybe it'll be two videos so we'll see um, so hang tight, let's move over to the lathe. Alright guys, so I have this uh, piece of steel set up in my lathe and and I hope uh, I hope it's focused in there because uh, I manually focused it and I'm trying to keep it from going on the ways and stuff. My, my uh, camera has been acting up lately so... <clears throat> All right, I was working on something last night and I never cleaned my bed up, so. All right, so <clears throat> my little piece here is 180 thousandths. It's actually 170, 180, 179. Measure this side, 180, 179. And then my collar is 250, we'll call it 250. <clears throat> my length here up to the collar to the back is, if you can see that, I'm going to say it's 6, it says 695, but I'm going to go with 700 thousandths. And then my dimension here, I'm going to make this longer, of course. Right now I'm at 285 and I'm not engaging. So my engagement end here, I'm going to make that uh, probably 3 or 310 off my collar here. So I'll try to make this as painless as possible. I'll show a little bit of cutting, uh, a little bit of measuring, and, and uh, hopefully with not too much work here, we can make something that looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm just going to double. <coughs> and I've been fighting a cold here the past <coughs> few days, so hopefully I start feeling better. And I know my, my measurement right here is pretty dang close, so I'm going to actually come on and I'm gonna turn my car feet on because then we'll get a little nicer finish. relatively simple feed anyway, so. So my first uh, dimension I want to do is I want to do that collar. 
and I'm gonna make sure I got so that's a quarter inch so I'm at 286 right now so I gotta go 36 thousandths so I'm just gonna crank in about 30 Cut. You gotta watch out when you got material hanging off the end here because I'm not supported out on the end here. So that doesn't feel like a 30,000 cut for some reason. And I do have a little nipple here that uh, my one, I got two little dimensions there, and my one inside one is actually pretty relatively close to my dimension that I actually need to get for my small diameter. Sixty-two. Another, another ten thou. The nice thing about having a few machines is you can use your other machines to fix your, uh, your broken ones. Fifty on the nuts. So now I'm gonna let me think which way I want to run this guy. <clears throat> I think I'm going to. I think I'll put my collar on the inside for no particular reason at all. And. Uh, And then I'll have my back end here for the main part of the shaft. So I'm just putting a mark on there just to get a general idea of where I want my collar to be. So that's going to stay there. <clears throat> and now this side, I'm going to cut down to my 180 thousandths. So we were at 250 there, so we can we can just count down uh, with our dial or whatever and work into it. So I'll cut cut into that, and then we'll continue on. Uh, we'll come back and I'll I'll show you what I did here. All right, so now I got <clears throat> I got our end here cut down a 180 th or 180 179, <clears throat> so that our our little screw slips on there nice and snug. So now that we got that done, <clears throat> I can come uh, measure my collar uh, width and then I'll leave that and then I'll come back on the back side here and I'll cut uh, the front side of my little prowl here and then we'll part it off uh, and then we'll have uh, most of our little part there. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to switch out bits here uh, because this bit is, is not the one I'd like to be using and I don't have a bit set up but I do have my parting tool set up here so I might just use that. Um, I can come in here and get a, get a reading on my one side pretty close and then I can fine tune it some 89 thousandths. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of going to measure this collar width <clears throat> by this guy, and then I'm going to kind of guess, get it pretty dang close. So 55 thousandths will come in. And I'll put my parting tool, and I probably can't see it, but I'll put my tool on the other side of 55 thousandths there. <clears throat> that should get us pretty dang close. And I'm going to see, I might have slowed my lane down. I might get some chatter here with this guy. It's a thin little piece of metal sticking out. But it's doing okay. I got some cutting oil. tool on a thin little unsupported piece like this isn't the best way to do this but it can work. We're at 188 so I gotta go just a little bit more. Seven, but that's okay. Um, let me look at my park here. Yeah, that's not going to be as critical. as the other side here, so I'll come in again and and cut some more. I'm just feeding into the same depth every time here. And I gotta go one more on the outside here. And I'll part the whole thing off. I'm gonna leave it long on my cutting edge so that I can fit it to exactly where I want it to be. So then I'll cut it, I'll part it off right here. See the thing moving a little bit. Like I said, parting a small piece like this is not really easy. Because that wants to flex and if you feed it in too quick it'll jump into your bit and then it'll take a big chunk out at a time instead of feeding nice and steady, but this is feeding pretty good. And I'm gonna double check. I got plenty, plenty of room there so I can cut my new edge. There we go. So there's 
part of our new part there, so let's uh, <coughs> take it over and clean it up. <coughs> 